adventures of Fire Billy. Hello, gamers. Today, I'm going to introduce the game, The Adventures of Bayou Billy, known in Japan as Mad City, is an action-adventure game developed and published by Konami for the Nintendo Entertainment System, NES. It was released in 1988 in Japan and 1989 in North America. In The Adventures of Bayou Billy, players assume the role of Billy West, a tough-as-nails hero who must rescue his girlfriend, Annabelle Lane, from the clutches of the crime lord, Godfather Gordon. The game is divided into multiple stages with different gameplay styles, beat em up sections. These segments feature side-scrolling action where Billy fights off waves of enemies using punches, kicks, and his trusty knife. Players must navigate through urban streets and swampy areas, while defeating henchmen and avoiding hazards. Driving Sections In these stages, players control Billy's Jeep as they race through hazardous terrain, dodging obstacles and enemy vehicles while collecting power-ups and ammunition. Shooting Gallery Sections These sequences switch to a first-person perspective, where players must shoot enemies and targets that appear on the screen. Accuracy and speed are essential to progress through these sections. The gameplay of The Adventures of Bayou Billy combines elements of beat em up action, driving, and shooting genres, offering a varied and challenging experience. Players must master different gameplay mechanics and adapt to changing scenarios as they progress through the game stages. Graphically, the game features detailed sprites and backgrounds that depict the Bayou setting and urban environments. The music and sound effects enhance the atmosphere of each stage, from the eerie swamps to the chaotic city streets. While The Adventures of Bayou Billy received mixed reviews for its high difficulty level and sometimes frustrating gameplay mechanics, it remains notable for its ambitious attempt to blend multiple genres into a single cohesive experience. It has gained a reputation among NES enthusiasts for its challenging gameplay and distinctive style, making it a memorable title in the NES library. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.